The James Webb Space Telescope has been making waves with its astonishing observations of the cosmos. One of its latest achievements is capturing detailed images of supernova remnants, SNRs, in the Triangulum Galaxy, also known as Messier 33. In this video, we dive into how Webb is transforming our understanding of these remnants, revealing new insights into their structure, composition, and impact on the universe. Welcome, cosmic inquirers. Join us as we explore this breakthrough. Webb uncovers 43 supernova remnants in the Triangulum Galaxy. Webb is a game changer in exploring distant supernova remnants, especially those in galaxies like Messier 33. Its advanced instruments, the near-infrared camera and the mid-infrared instrument, have enabled astronomers to observe 43 SNRs with unprecedented detail. These instruments allow us to peer into wavelengths that previous telescopes, such as Spitzer and Herschel, couldn't observe with the same clarity. For the first time, astronomers can study the intricate structures of supernova remnants beyond the Milky Way and the Magellanic Clouds. Webb can detect the heat and light emitted by the dust and gas ejected from supernovae, allowing scientists to map the aftermath of these explosive events. This is vital because it helps reveal how these remnants interact with the surrounding interstellar medium, ISM, the cosmic space filled with gas, dust, and other materials. One of the most significant findings is the detection of molecular hydrogen emissions in some of these remnants. Molecular hydrogen, the most abundant molecule in the universe, typically remains invisible in cold interstellar gas. However, when heated by shock waves from a supernova, it starts to emit light in specific infrared wavelengths. This emission is more than just a visual spectacle. It provides essential information about the environment surrounding the SNRs. It indicates that shock waves from these explosions are interacting with dense molecular clouds, regions rich in gas where new stars could form. This interaction is a crucial part of the puzzle in understanding the life cycle of stars and the role supernovae play in shaping star-forming regions. Additionally, the data has revealed characteristics of SNRs still in their active phases. Some of the brightest SNRs in the Triangulum Galaxy are relatively compact, suggesting that their shock waves are still moving quickly through dense regions of gas and dust. This rapid movement causes much of the shock energy to be released as infrared light, allowing astronomers to study the impact of these shock waves on their surroundings. This insight is critical for understanding the so-called cosmic recycling process, how the remnants of dead stars contribute to the formation of new ones by enriching the interstellar medium with elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron. The recent discovery of a superluminous nova in the Small Magellanic Cloud, SMC, adds a fascinating new dimension to our understanding of stellar explosions. This event, observed in May, provided astronomers with a rare opportunity to study a unique binary star system. Composed of a white dwarf and a hot young companion star, the white dwarf, the compact core left behind after a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel, had been gradually accumulating material from its companion star, eventually triggering a dramatic nova explosion. What makes this nova particularly intriguing is not only its intense brightness, but also its brief duration. The nova's outburst shone with exceptional luminosity, resembling a massive hydrogen bomb on a cosmic scale. Yet, unlike typical novae that can linger for months, this event lasted less than two weeks before fading below the detection threshold of telescopes like the Neil Garrels Swift Observatory and various ground-based observatories. By June 12th, the flare had significantly diminished, making it a fleeting yet spectacular phenomenon. This nova occurred in the SMC, a dwarf galaxy, and one of the Milky Way's nearest neighbors, located about 200,000 light-years away. It's one of the few known systems of its kind. Only six similar binary systems have been identified, making such observations incredibly valuable. The event was first detected by an array of telescopes monitoring asteroids, but quickly caught the attention of astronomers due to its unusual brightness and the system's rarity. Detailed follow-up observations revealed that the outburst originated from a binary star system cataloged as CXOOU, the outburst occurred when the white dwarf accumulated so much material from its companion that it reached a critical point, igniting a runaway nuclear reaction on its surface. This led to a sudden release of energy, producing the powerful flash observed in May. 
Despite its brief appearance, the event provided astronomers with a wealth of data about the dynamics of mass transfer in such binary systems. Understanding how material flows from one star to another before a nova explosion is crucial for refining models of stellar evolution. This discovery ties directly into the broader study of supernova remnants, SNRs, being conducted by Webb. While Webb is primarily focused on mapping the intricate structures of SNRs in galaxies like Messier 33, this nova in the small Magellanic Cloud shows another side of stellar death, one that is fast, energetic, and short-lived. Together, these observations give us a more complete picture of how stars' stars end their lives, from the lingering remnants of ancient supernovae to the sudden flashes of novae. Moreover, the NOVA's brief but powerful outburst highlights the importance of rapid response observations in astronomy. By combining data from Webb's infrared capabilities with observations from other space-based and ground-based telescopes, scientists can capture the full life cycle of these cosmic events. The NOVA also raises new questions about how often such outbursts might occur across the universe, and whether more of these short-lived flares are going undetected due to their transient nature. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.